I'm going to go through a bunch of stuff here for the DLC for zombies map in Black Ops Cold War, the upcoming marketing teasers, gameplay reveal trailers, what we're going to be seeing for all of that. When is the DLC perk going to be revealed? What perk we're going to see? A lot of stuff for DLC four. We're going to cover in today's video. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Now, as of today, recording this video, we are just under three weeks away from the final season of Black Ops Cold War and Warzone season six. Last week, we got our first initial teasers for this final DLC for Zombies map in the game. There are a couple of new ones that I haven't personally talked about on this channel, so we're going to break those down. Some pretty big Easter egg and storyline teasers for this final map as well. So let's go through the marketing stuff first, and then we'll get to that. But what should we expect from Treyarch in terms of DLC for teasers, gameplay teasers, a full gameplay trailer, a studio broadcast, the DLC perk being revealed, the wonder weapon being revealed, a lot of stuff still on the table here to be revealed. So Treyarch actually gave us a little update on when to expect all of this new stuff. They said in their patch notes, keep an eye on our social channels next week for more intel on what's to come at the launch of season six and they said this right after talking about zombies and dlc4 they've said something like this plenty of times before for past seasons before a zombies map comes out it usually means that they're gonna start ramping up the news and info we're getting for this zombies map not just some minor teasers but something a bit more if we look back at marriage or toad in the last map we got we got very similar teasers to what we're seeing right now the first couple of teasers for that map were just a shot of the map some letters addressed to certain people, some blueprints for the one weapons and other items in the game. We haven't gotten those blueprint teasers yet for DLC 4, but I can definitely expect to see them this week. What I didn't realize, however, is how early we got our first gameplay teaser video for Marder Toten. So if you look at this here, here's the tweet. It was included within a studio broadcast for season four. Obviously, Marder Toten didn't release until season four reloaded, but that was on June 16th, 2021. It was a whole month before the map even was released. So we got our first little gameplay clip of the map. And I don't know about you guys, but I was on stream and we were reacting to it live. It was one of the most hype moments I've had streaming and talking about zombies on YouTube. I've been doing this for so many years now since Black Ops 3, even before Black Ops 3 came out, and no one was expecting this. And this gameplay teaser, it was so eerie, it was so cool. The map looked beautiful. It was our first look at gameplay of the map. I mean, it was really so sick. If you guys remember that stream, leave a comment down below. Such a fun stream. I have my reaction up on my channel. I posted it. But anyway, this is telling us here that, okay, for Marder Toten, they had all this stuff way before the map even came out. Over the next few weeks after that initial gameplay video, we got a continuous stream of teasers. The DLC perk Mule Kick was revealed. A week later, we got that full gameplay trailer. So looking at DLC 4 now, we know for sure it's pretty much releasing the launch of Season 6, which is Thursday, October 7th. Again, we only have less than three weeks until this map is expected to release, so it's more than enough time in my opinion for all of this marketing we saw for Marder Toten in my opinion all of that marketing the teasers the gameplay videos the gameplay trailer made the lead up to the map super hype super enjoyable and I'm hoping we see a lot of that similar stuff for DLC 4 but for that to happen they have to start right now so this upcoming week I would expect to see a lot of stuff here for DLC 4, not just some tweets about the map. What we saw last week was pretty cool. They confirmed that this map is based on the red light, green light campaign mission from Cold War, but this week we should see a lot more stuff. The DLC perk should be revealed. Our first gameplay video should be out. We should see what this map actually looks like. And again, if they go based on what they did with the Marder Toten, this week should be a huge, huge week for DLC 4. More specifically, I would look at this Thursday as it's going to be the exact two week point until this map is expected to release. Usually on those Thursdays when it's two weeks out, one week out, they have pretty big Intel drops huge blog posts, gameplay trailers, gameplay videos. So this Thursday, this week, definitely keep an eye out around 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific for some pretty big zombies info for DLC 4. And now that we know the Sledgehammer games also extended the Vanguard beta until this Wednesday, it makes perfect sense for them to really start ramping up the teasers for this final map on Thursday after all the Vanguard stuff is over. We have some big, big stuff revealed. And then the week after, a full season six gameplay trailer, roadmap for other parts of the update, not just zombies and all that good stuff. So we'll see very soon. 
hopefully we do get all of this i'm expecting all of this i personally enjoy more marketing for the dlc updates for the zombie maps especially for season five season five reloaded we barely saw any marketing i didn't really enjoy that it's not necessary they don't need to do it but I think it just hypes us up a lot more for the update. So hopefully we do get a lot of this stuff leading into season six and the final zombies map. Let's go through here. A bunch of really cool new teasers that Treyarch gave us regarding DLC4 that tease the storyline and the Easter egg for this map. This one is about Samantha Maxis. It was written by the director of Requiem and it was sent to Requiem senior staff. It says, after consulting with Dr. Gray and Officer Weaver, I have decided to approve Maxis for Operation first domino over the last several months she has learned much about her powers and how to control them she is ready unfortunately she has not been approved to return to requiem at this time and will fulfill her obligations from redacted where my team can monitor her and ensure she is not at risk of redacted she may not be in the field but rest assured she has a role to play as blank and blank i know you have questions and i appreciate your patience through this time I understand what she has come to mean to you and you only want what is best for her just know that redacted she is safe so again do they believe that do i believe that no the director is clearly you know really harassing her and if you have seen any of the intel he is really just borderline torturing her so we'll probably get more information very soon as to what is actually happening with samantha maxis how she will use her powers how she's going to be forced to use her powers whatever happens in dlc4 we'll see very soon but super interesting stuff here coming out of the director of requiem and now some stuff a letter from weaver to the requiem team this is your target sergeant kazimir zykov 40 years ago he sacrificed himself and shut down the particle accelerator at project end station closing the portal to the dark ether then in november of 1983 omega reopened it now they're going after him zykov is the single most important intelligence asset requiem has encountered he has unparalleled knowledge about the dark ether and he knows how to defeat the forsaken if krevchenko succeeds and takes him into custody we lose zykov for good you must locate and extract him before omega can He's been a part of this from the beginning. Let's bring him home. So again, Treyarch confirming here to us that yes, Zykov is this target that everyone's looking at in the Dark Aether. Omega knows about him and wants him. Requiem also does now as well. So we'll see. It's going to be this crazy fight between Requiem and Omega. Who can get to Zykov first? Who's going to defeat the Forsaken first? And I guess whoever does that gets a lot more power in this, you know, sort of Cold War type race here. At the same rate, I've seen some theories that say maybe Zykov is literally the Forsaken himself and he is trying to bait either Requiem or Omega or both of them for that matter to just go into the Dark Aether and then they'll just be destroyed at that point. So I don't know, that's a whole nother idea as well. I could definitely see that happening. Maybe Omega gets to Zykov first and Zykov is actually the Forsaken and then he dies and then it's just Requiem left and at the end of DLC 4, somehow Requiem defeats the Forsaken and we also have Omega kind of defeated as well. I could see that being the ending of DLC 4, honestly, but you know, we'll see what happens very soon. Definitely a lot of different plot lines that could go down in this final map with Zykov if it is the Forsaken. If it's not the Forsaken, will we actually be able to defeat the Forsaken? Will the ending for Cold War Zombies be a cliffhanger? where the Forsaken destroys and kills everyone. Omega and Requiem are dead. I mean, that'd be kind of interesting as well, honestly, but let me know down below your opinions, your theories on that. Let's talk now about the final DLC perk in Cold War Zombies for DLC 4. We've been saying it could either be Double Tap, PhD, Flopper, or Slider, a completely new perk like Elemental Pop, a Black Ops 4 perk again like Death Perception. A lot of you guys, when you responded to my tweet and any of my posts on my YouTube channel, you guys said phd a lot of you guys want phd apparently so let's go through a bunch of different phd perk concepts as to what it might look like in cold war zombies i might make a specific video just on phd so please leave a bunch of your ideas for the five tiers for phd down below any concepts you have as to what you think the perk will do in cold war zombies what you want the perk to do i'll be sure to shout you guys out 
put a bunch of them in that PhD video. Should be coming very soon if you guys leave enough ideas. But let's go through some concepts here. This first one, the base version of the perk, explosive damage reduced by 50%. When sliding, it creates explosions that damages zombies, recharges over time. Tier 1, explosion radius from sliding increased by 30%. Tier 2, Sliding Explosion stuns special zombies. Tier 3, Carry an extra lethal equipment. Tier 4, Slide for a longer distance. And Tier 5, Immune to Explosive Damage. Overall, a pretty solid perk there. Let me know if you guys would want to make any changes to these tiers. I do think it would be PhD Slider in this game. I don't think they're going to add the Dolphin Dive. So this guy who made the concept is right on that. I feel like some people might be a bit annoyed about Tier 5 being just the base version of PHG. That's how it originally was back in Black Ops 1 Ascension. I mean, it was just immune to explosive damage or self-inflicted explosive damage for that matter. And you have to go all the way to tier five now just to get that base version of the perk. So some people might be a bit annoyed with that. Let me know down below. Tier five could be something a bit different. I don't know what it could be, just a super version of that. But, you know, let me know how you would change that around. Now, this concept here, is a bit interesting this is actually a dolphin dive version of phd pretty much just phd flopper so the base version of this perk is immunity to self-inflicted explosive damage pressing the crouch button while running will give you a dolphin dive ability holding it is still a slide customizable on the settings so actually it's a mixture of both tier one increased radius of the dolphin diver explosion tier two increased jump height and dolphin dive animation is quicker tier or I guess we're skipping tier 3. Explosive damage is increased by 20%. And tier 5, pack-a-punched pistols will now shoot explosive projectile so pretty cool concept here as well again i personally just think the flopper mechanic is just not going to return to cold war zombies there's no way they're going to add that in it would be sick i just don't think it's going to happen overall here this does sound like a pretty cool concept overall let me know down below do you want to see this flopper mechanic do you not mind it just being the slide and any other concepts you want to see for a phd any other things you want to do do you want phd to be brought together with another perk the only perk we had similar to that was you know tombstone it's a combination of tombstone and who's who mule kick is pretty much just mule kick with a little bit of a vulturate vibe death perception is also pretty much just death perception also with a little bit of a vulturate vibe as well actually and this final perk if it is phd it would be cool to see a mixture of widow's wine brought into phd as well maybe phd is brought together with another perk let me know down below what would you want them to do i hope that phd is the base perk because i like the perk machine it's really cool and if they do want to add some bo4 features i would rather them be implemented into the tiers of phd in this game as opposed to the bo4 perk being the perk machine the base version and then potentially phd is just tier 5 of this bo4 perk i just like the marketing the feel of PhD better than a lot of the BO4 perks. PhD is a lot more known, a lot more recognizable. I feel like a lot of people just want to see that PhD perk machine as opposed to a random BO4 perk. And even if the BO4 perk is useful, that's why you would bring it into the tiers of PhD. So you can still have that usage, but maybe the actual look of PhD is just a bit more cool, at least to me. Let me know down below again your opinions on that, but that's just my opinion there. So we'll see what we get very soon. Not even a guarantee that we're going to get PhD. We'll most likely see this week what the final perk perk is going to be for Black Ops Gold War Zombies. Let's talk a little bit about Vanguard Zombies. I saw this comment on my recent video regarding the mode. If you guys don't remember, I'll leave a link to the video down below. There's going to be a new mode apparently, which is a mixture of round base style zombies, outbreak, and onslaught on top of the normal round base maps. And DX said this about it. I mean, I'm fine with the hybrid mode. Just please no operators. I hate them. They make the maps feel hollow and no one cares if they die or anything. Also, since this is set in the past, that means the original crew exists still and we could possibly see them and they could bring them back. There is a lot of stuff I want to break down here. I think, first of all, we just have to accept we're not getting this original crew. And now that we're at the end of Cold War Zombies, I'm actually kind of excited to see how this crew is brought into future games. And hopefully, they continue with these characters. We have the operator system. We got to pick any character we want, and especially the characters that are already in Cold War Zombies right now. We have Samantha Maxis. We have a Weaver. Those guys that are a part of the storyline if they take those characters in the next Treyarch Zombies game, maybe it's Cold War Zombies 2, whatever their game is in 2023, 
and make them a set crew, that would be really cool. It would satisfy the fans who are enjoying the Cold War Zombie storyline, who like the characters, who like some of the new guys we're just learning of here, and also satisfy the fans of maybe older zombie games who miss the set crew on each map. And now that we got to learn about these characters and we know about their feelings and we have kind of these attachments to them, if you've been reading a lot of the intel, uh, a set crew could easily be Samantha Maxis, Weaver, Ravenov, maybe even Raptor 1. We could have a Requiem crew. We could also have an Omega crew with Krevchenko, Dr. Peck, like all these different guys. Like it could be really, really sick. Two set crews for different maps, Omega and Requiem. That would be really cool. So let me know down below your opinions on that. On the flip side though, I do kind of enjoy the operator system. I, I like the quotes more from the past Treyarch games. I, I understand it's a different way of telling the story, the intel. It's a pretty cool way. I just personally prefer the story to be told more from the actual quotes themselves, from the characters and operators you just can't do that as much and also if you go back to a set crew you can't have all of these cool different operator skins you can't have all of these different samantha maxis skins the dark ether weaver and all of these crazy skins in the store activision probably wouldn't want that to happen as well because they're making so much money on all of these store operator skins and bundles and stuff so if they go to a set crew i guess it's less likely that they'll be able to do that in the store so realistically i just can't see call of duty moving away from this operator system but let me know down below do you like the operator system anyway do you want a set crew again i don't think it's that big of a deal i mean i still overall really enjoyed cold war zombies and having a set crew will make it probably a bit more enjoyable but to be honest not that much enjoyable not enough to where i really really want it and i won't play zombies if there's never a set crew i mean to me like i'm kind of fine with the operator system it's not that big of a deal to me but if they do have a set crew i would probably like it a little bit more so let me know your opinions on that down below again i'm kind of indifferent but we'll see what happens in vanguard zombies I have a very strong feeling we're going back to the operator system. Maybe we'll see a change in, again, the next Treyarch Zombies game or the next Treyarch game in 2023. That's when we might see a change, go back to the set crews and stuff like that. But for now, I, I, for the foreseeable future, it's just going to be the operator system. So leave your opinions on that down below. But that's pretty much it here for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave any your comments down below about DLC4. What are you most excited to see in this Zombies map? There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Real do appreciate it, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.